What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. I've got, we're just coming right out the gate. Right out the, hold on, let me, let me put it back in its position there. Right out the gate with good news. Uh, the boys over at Boost sent me my replacement mirror, so we are good to go. No more cracked mirror on the OBS and a huge thank you to the guys over at Boost for sending me over that replacement super, super quick. Clearly, as you can see behind me, we've got uh, Chris, AKA at CBailey619 over here at the warehouse and we've got like 40 other people. I don't think anybody's following the social distancing thing like they're supposed to. More good news is we have the Make America blue collar again. Shirts all back in stock, as well as all of the Skull snapback shirts. All of which you can find over at workforwardapparel.com. There'll be a link there. So let me go show you uh, the amount of people we got here that just randomly showed up about 45 minutes ago. We've got Brian, aka Diamond Z71. We've got SoCal62, aka Wes. We've got uh, Stanson Rich69, whatever the heck his name is. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's up, buddy? What's up? And what, what's your boy's Instagram? Murdered LLY. Murdered LLY back here. He's busy right now. Wes is on his like horn mount number 42. Got another upgrade. Right under the brought a pie for you too. No, I didn't actually. Oh, you didn't time. bring a pie? No, I will next time. I bought the stuff to make one, so. Uh, do you make it with like a hazmat suit on? Because we're like. I wash my hands. I'll Don't wear gloves. You're going to sneeze on it. I don't know if I, I trust you. I'll wear a mask and I'll wear gloves. Give it to Wes. Wes loves your pies. Wesley, do you love my pies? I'm waiting on the key lime pie. Now a key lime pie. <laughs> straight, from, straight from Florida. So if you guys remember, first Wes had the Klein horns on his shrug. Then he switched over to Air Horns of Texas's um, Union Pacific. I don't even remember the exact model number, but apparently they're going to Rich's truck. This is Rich's new truck, by the way, which we'll do a walk around here in a second. If you guys remember, he had the all white LBZ with the teal uh, lift kit, powder coat, whatever. Well, that truck, unfortunately, had a, a rough ending of its life rough turnout yeah so this is wes's old horn put it let's go put it next to the new one so we can see the size difference the new one is also from air horns of texas and this is like their their version of the nathan p3 kind of like as close you're going to get to the p3 without spending 800 bucks on a p3 oh taking precise measurements right now Shh, don't distract them rich it's not going to work what is it? it's not going to work guys it's too big it's seven and a half Seven and a half plus two is nine and a half. There's the old horn. There's the new horn. Wes, do you know the part number on the new horn? Four six one one five. <laughs> this. <laughs> He's commented it on Instagram. Like, oh, I know. Time. Jesus Christ! Like, Did you watch the video? <laughs> no, I didn't. This one is the four six one five one. It's a uh, three trumpet, just like that. But as you can see, the diaphragm difference, which is going to allow for a lot more sound, along with the length and diameter of the trumpets themselves so so we've already hooked them up to compare them but they're working on right now trying to figure out how to mount that up underneath his wes's truck they've already shifted the uh air tank forward a little bit yeah. wes needs a couple more compressors though because we've been burning through some air over here well, we hooked yeah, up my nathan's thing. earlier so we upgraded to half inch line originally i was running quarter inch line for the Klein, three eighths for the this one and now i'm going to full half inch so it dumps the three gallon tank and seconds so two compressors is definitely needed unless you have like a five gallon supply or more right so that will probably be the upgrade in the future is a bigger tank all right rich give us a walk around so obviously this is the replacement for the lbz yeah so i found this truck out in fresno again it's a 2008 gmc sierra so it's got the color match front end front bumpers uh, i just got an order from P uh, primo dynamics he's doing a full custom um color match headlight i'm also doing the 2011 front end swap on the grill and i'm gonna do the hood in the process hopefully right now we have a six inch fab tech but we're gonna do the full mcgoy's seven and nine i'm gonna do a candy purple and a white to match kind of the truck but also a candy purple with the joker painted somewhere i'll let you guys know that later i think they already found out you kind of pointed to it yeah. okay well the joker's good i'm gonna paint the joker under the hood um, I just ordered my also my tow mirrors, the switchbacks from Boost Auto. I'm going to get those color matched too. Uh, we ordered the rear tail lights. They're also color matched white from Primo Dynamics. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of these forces. You know, maybe Ryan might buy them. Maybe he won't. No, you didn't like my low ball offer. Giving them so. a great deal though. But. Yeah, I tried to get a greater deal. You didn't accept. So, hey, if anybody wants Rich's forces, they are for sale. Hit them up. Is, what is it? Stanson underscore Rich. 54. 54? 54. Why do I always think it's a six something? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know either way. You're, you're over the green. You don't want to stick with the, the army fab tech green no. down there? The dude who did this truck, I mean, he, he took, he well maintained it when it comes to maintenance, but I really don't think he was into like lifted trucks and everything. So I'm going to change all that. I mean, he didn't even, that's not even powder coat. That's just paint. Yeah. So I want to do the full powder coat, but also I'm doing, I'm going back on the 24 by 14 hostile alphas, the H109s on the Turos 375s like West. After we replaced the one that went flying off your truck, right? 
Exactly. All right. <laughs> Something that no one really sees is I don't have a tailgate handle. Oh, the shave the tailgate handle? Yeah, so it's Where inside the, the bed right here. Dang, man, you ain't gonna be able to reach this thing once you lift it higher. Hey, I don't care. I don't use the bed, so. You gotta put a door popper on it or a release. You can just hit it on the key fob and it releases it. And then we got Brian's truck over here. He finally, well, this is like a temporary mock-up of his little face plates on his track bars. They're currently uh, vinyl wrapped, which is why you kind of see it torn a little bit down there because obviously trying to get vinyl to make those complex curves is not that easy. So he just wanted to see what it looked like before he actually had them painted to match the paint. He was going back and forth between doing chrome or paint match. We think paint match actually looks really good. And he got his, uh, what is Venom? Yep, Venom. He got Venom. Venom. Venom wheels, lug nuts. They're the six inch. Six inch lug nuts, part number 6969. So I guess Venom, what you do, like Wes did, is you tell them your powder coat color no, or whatever. You don't even have to do that. You just go on their website and you choose what thread pitch you have. So for most of the GM trucks, they're uh, M14. Uh, 1.5 they have it preset in a drop down for every pretty much every color that you'd, you'd want gotcha. and check their clearance items because sometimes they have full sets of 24 or 32 for a super good deal so tell them uh, SoCal 62 uh, sent you tell them Stanson Rich 64 sent you 64 Jesus <laughs> <laughs> tell them Brian, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Brian's truck's looking good we're actually thinking we're, we're working on a couple little ideas here on a couple more faceplate things to make this truck like really pop bring that white down the white and blue looks killer I mean I think yeah. it's a it's a clean look yeah, I think we should get the Cognito faceplates painted to match these boys down here making some yeah, some adjustments let yours go now yeah. How are you oh dude that fits perfectly bro yeah it it's like it was meant to meant to be so now that we got like real air set up off of Wes's truck versus our compressor in here I want to show you guys what the Nathan sound like at full pressure because we were running it previously on our little restricted compressor down there and we were only getting like barely 120 psi maybe oh, so on Wes's truck we can actually get pretty much what these things are gonna sound like fully. I think he's only shooting 140 PSI, which is still not full capacity. I think these are rated up to 200. They definitely are all firing now off of Wes's. There we go, a little push connect, half inch airline now, so no more restrictions. We do have 10 feet of airline, so that is a little restriction that we're running. Wes, where'd you get these, buddy? Don't worry about it. Where'd you, where'd you get these? Why, are you, are you clowning them? No, nah, they just, oh, that's pretty cool. So, I like that. The only company that I found wanted over $300 to do sequential turn signals. So I bought these on Amazon and I modified the wiring to work, but that's pretty rad. They're uh, they're not as bright, I don't think, because they're like true smoke lenses instead of like painted over or VHT'd over right. the plastic, but they function how I want. Well, now we got to go sequential here. We got to figure out somebody to that tear that apart sick. and go sequential. I ain't taking that apart. <laughs> Every guy I talk to wants like a thousand dollars to redo headlight. I'm not. My lights work perfectly fine. All right, so we're gonna compare all three. We're gonna compare the Nathan K5 LA. The Union Pacific. 46151. And then. And the 46115. That's also Union Pacific, right? Yeah, United, I think. Or United, United, I don't know, whatever it is. United it Pacific. says it on the back of it. Yeah, United Pacific. United Pacific. It's United on, Pacific. All right. Or it's on that giant box that I'm looking at. Here's your headphone warning. Yeah, appreciate you not letting my horn fall. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I wasn't going to do Ready? this stuff. Ready? You can feel it in your chest. Chris over here, you know, he's either already deaf or he doesn't care. I felt it in my chest. <laughs> oh, you felt it in your chest? <laughs> yeah, you do. Like, it like rattles. It's going to take two batteries because that one has a solenoid mounted at the horn along with that one in line. So this one's got the built-in solenoid. So since we're lazy right now, don't want to unhook that solenoid. We could just unhook it right there and plug it in right there, no? So yeah, so it's gonna take two batteries same time to get both solenoids to fire. Good luck, Rich. My head's not gonna be oh, oh, you pulled it out. I've gotta oh, leave it where it's in. Alright, go. Alright, alright. And then we'll go to the new ones that are on Wes's truck already installed. Excited, buddy? Oh, I'm truly happy right now. <laughs> hey, thanks to my boy Wes. Texas. Or horns of Texas, air horns of Texas. Air. What'd you have to do for Wes to get those? Hey, Unspeakable thing. Well, yeah, we can. Now we're gonna go to the one installed on Wes's truck. Let's go. So you can hear even just the huge difference between the two that Wes got from Airhorns of Texas. That new model, super loud. I want to thank everybody that ordered after we did the initial video on the. Uh, the first set that I got from them, he, uh, Jason over there sent me the new horn, the 46115. Since you guys did all those orders, he uh, 
he paid me back, I guess, for all the, the advertisements. So thank you for everybody that ordered. And then if you continue to order, shout me out. Maybe he'll throw you a little discount or something. There you go. Get it, Ready? Get it Ready? Yeah. So right now they're working on getting everything wired up. But Wes, what's going on with this wiring, dude? Pressure switch wire is a little coming out of the plug and play, baby. It's kind of, kind of coming, <laughs> coming out of the plug crimp there. Your tank, dude. This is a tiny tank. It's three gallons. Yeah, we need a couple. Of, you got a ton of room right here. We'll yeah, put a dude, big I one sideways. Was... I'm surprised Wes let somebody else work on his truck right now. Hey, he took charge. I'm lazy today. <laughs> yeah, this is the first lazy. time I've hey, we, we were on the way here. Wes didn't want to do this, and then uh, I told him if I was going to get those horns. Yeah, he well, as, long as, as long as Wes gets to supervise, he's good. He wanted the horns now. He's impatient. He ain't got a tank or nothing. He's going to be blown into it tonight. He's going to be blown into it tonight. Ready, boys? She's done? Well, it's going to take a few minutes to charge the tank, but it's up there. Look at that. That's a cleaner setup, but a little off center, but well, we, we had to because the, the length of the horns, it had to be off center to, to get it to fit. Gotcha. I shut it. <laughs> Did you just get raw fuel in your face? Yeah. Well, on my arm. Ew, it's on my feet. What is that? Dude, you got some Flintstone feet. Holy crap, dude. Stop. Why are they so Holy big? Shit. Dude, hey, try this on. You're like a size. You're like a size 13. Try that on right there. I'm actually a size. 10. Look at that. You got big old feet. I'm only a size six. Jeez. That is not big. Handled no Rich's truck on the way here. All right, tanks all charged. Horn installed. I mean, we kind of already heard it. I know it's a little bit dark, people. I apologize, but this is a. I like this LOI a lot. It's definitely a style that I've been thinking about doing with my cat eyes. So let's get a little closer here so we can actually see. All right, there we go. Look, we got our light guy here. Woo! All right, light this thing up. All right, so what do we what do we got done to it? It's just a 2005 LOI. It's got McCoy's two inch drop shackles in the rear, 22 by 14 hostile jigsaws. Um, I just put those stone mirrors on it, and it's got a five inch straight pipe. Sounds really good. I got the. Fuel rail plug coming in tomorrow. Put that in hopefully this weekend. Other than that, it's a stock truck. What size tires we got on these? Uh, these are 33 and a half. Dude, 33, 12 and a half by 22. I know a lot of you guys wonder about leveling stuff. On my LOI, the guy that owned it before me or somebody who owned it before me, cranked up the uh, torsion keys in the front, which makes it ride like absolute crap. And there's two ways to level. You can actually like lift the front to match the rear, because obviously on these trucks, the rears are higher to be able to handle a load and it levels the truck out. Or you can uh, reverse level it where you drop the rear. So on this truck, drop shackles right there, dude. So you can see the drop shackles up there actually. They're a little bit bigger than the stock ones. They're two inch bigger than the stock ones. Gotcha. So he brought the rear end down, which maintains a better ride quality. It and then you, cr you did crank the front up a little bit, right? Yeah, they're halfway cranked up. There's five turns on them. So it still rides good? Still rides good. Everything's good. Yeah, well, I really like this style of truck on these cat eyes, going with kind of the street truck look to them. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What should we do? What should we do? Rich, what should we do with my LOI? I like the street look, honestly. 1,000 plus just on fuel. <laughs> That's what you should do. 1,000 plus horsepower just on fuel. All right, when yours gets there, I'll match you. Bet. Bet. <laughs> Bet. Got you. Bet. Yeah, I so the one thing I don't understand about, I mean, I wish Boost would do it too, is a lot of companies won't sell the mirrors leveled. Obviously, when even the factory tow mirrors back in the day, the factory mirrors on those trucks were the same mirrors that Rich has right here on his... Uh, his LML, or LMM, sorry. Um, but for some reason, from the factory, they never came leveled. And then I wish the aftermarket companies like Boost would actually level them when they ship them to you. Because when, once you install them on the truck, they both point up and it just looks goofy to me. I don't understand why they've never leveled them. Um, and I think Boost actually puts a stipulation out there that they don't recommend you level them because they worry about vibration. So why they couldn't just like, mold this piece a little bit differently instead of having would you have to do stack washers in there yeah so i popped this cap off there's two three sixteen inch bolts up here i just took them out put two six three sixteen inch washers in there on each side and it plumbed it up gotcha so obviously if any of you guys go after market mirrors you have to level them it looks so it stupid looks and goofy it. yeah it is it is not a good look so these are all pointed up and it looks completely goofy you level them out changes the look of the truck 100 yeah. so Boost, I know you guys watch my videos. Please start manufacturing them level. Yeah, so nobody has to pull them apart because I, I don't like pulling stuff like this apart. This cap, 
I got to give it to boost. This cap is real easy to punch, pop off. I just use it with my hands. You can use a flathead screwdriver to get behind there and pop it off, but I'd rather not put tools near my truck, near paint right. where you can see it. So I just try to do it with my hands. It came off fairly easy. I don't know, guys. I'm getting a lot of ideas. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully my LOI comes back soon. It's still up at California Auto Works with the whole Rona going on. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sounds good. Stock turbo? Stock, everything stock, just a five inch spray pipe and a resonator to move. That's it. Gotcha. So anyway, like I was saying, my truck's still up at California Auto Works. And uh, unfortunately, with like the run, they're down a bunch of employees that don't want to come to work. So that's what we're waiting on. You can shine it on me, man. I know, but it's so bright. Oh, it's so bright? All right, thank you, man. You're great. You want to you work with me full time as my light guy? Yeah, I'll do it. Right? All right, so yeah, make sure you follow Murdered LOI. I was just going to say, we don't have a work for it decal, but you just bought a big American flag one, so <laughs> it will soon. It's soon going to have. There you go. You're flying pride right there on the back window. Nice. nice. All right, guys, so with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to. You guys are the best. Roll the outro. <laughs> Rich. Rich. Hey, you didn't say it, bro. You didn't say it. Rich, you watched my videos. Yeah, you usually say it, but you didn't say it this time. I, so I had to right, you, you had to say work for it first, oh, then roll okay. the outro. Work for it. Roll the outro. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> we we got to redo that. You can take it, bro. I don't, Just take the roll the outro. If there's anything in this life what what you want, you got to work for it, right? That was bad. Oh, shit. What is going on here? I know it. Oh my god, are you guys all infected with the Rona? Take it, Miranda! Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.